this video is going to go over practice it from uh, building Java programs chapter 8 which is about Java classes exercise 8.18 this problem is about building uh, writing an entire class and so the class name is rectangle and it takes um, it, it's got these various methods we've got the constructor rectangle which takes an X and a Y so that's the upper left and then a width and a height and it wants us to throw illegal argument exception and it also uh, we want to implement a get height, a get width, get x, get y, and a two string. Now, the first thing I want to point out is if you if you are having troubles with this problem, go take a look at my video on exercise 8.14. It's a very similar problem. I go through all the details of how to do this, and in particular, this creates a line instead of a rectangle. It takes two points instead of an upper left and width and height, uh, but it returns. Uh, there's a it has a get one, get p1, get p2. Just like the rectangle has the width and the height, it's got a two string, it's very similar. I want to focus instead on what are the differences here. So um, one difference is this throwing the, the illegal argument exception. Okay, so that's something that not everybody covers in 142. In fact, I don't really teach much of it myself. So I want to show you how to throw an illegal argument exception. So we're going to put a little bit of information here. Let me stop the video and I'll come back with a little bit of framework. Okay, I've got a little bit of framework here. So it's got the class definition. It's got the header for this uh, function here that's going to throw the illegal argument exception. So what you have to do is it's saying that if you, it wants you to throw an illegal argument exception on a negative width or height. So what you have to do is you've got to, of course, test. I'm not going to give you the test, but you've got to put your condition here. So you've got to test the conditions, whether the width is negative or the height is negative. Okay, if that's true let me scroll down just a bit then what you have to do is you have to throw and then it's not it, it's not just illegal argument exception it's actually an object that you are going to throw so you have to type new to create that illegal argument exception illegal argument exception is of course because it's after new it that's the name of a class and of course it needs a set of parameters like all new objects so in this case we don't pass anything in we could I believe throw a string in here if we wanted but the point is uh, this is what you have to do in order to be able to throw an illegal argument exception and then there's one last thing you actually need to put in here throws illegal argument exception okay that is what you're gonna need to do in order to be able to throw the illegal argument exception um, and now let me just for for those of you who still may be confused about how to do this problem let's just review class creation in general and I have a great video on class creation that you should take a look at as well but in general what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your member variables okay then you're gonna have your constructors then you're gonna have your scroll down some more you can have your getters and setters you're gonna have your two string. Okay, so here we have some data type and then some variable name, right? A bunch of these. Data type, variable name. Those are our member variables. So what do you think we need to store for the rectangle here? There's an X, a Y, a width, and a height. And we need to be able to get that width, get the X, get the Y, so one possibility is you could just store the x, y, width, and height as those integers. That's a perfectly valid thing. You could also do something else. You could store them as two points. Okay, we just stored a, we just did a line class with, which stored um, uh, point, point one and point two. You could actually do the point one and point two and just have those be the uh, endpoints of the rectangle. But it's a little bit, um, let's see, you would have to actually do a little calculation for the width and the height instead of the X and the Y. You could, let's see, what else could you do? Um, well, I suppose I could create some other things, but they would be a little bit harder to figure out. You could do like a point for the, for the upper left, which is just the X and Y, and then you could store the uh, width and height separately. Okay, that's another way you could do it. All of these, as long as you can store the information create getters, setters, and create a two string, then you can do it however you want. Okay, so you, you're gonna create these member variables. You have to do the constructor. I've only just done the argument checking, right? 
you then have to fill in the constructor. And the form of constructors is all was pretty much this dot x equals x, where x is one of these arguments here. So that gives you a strong hint of what needs to go here. And the getters and the setters, you're just going to return the this dot x. The setters, you're just going to set, of course, this problem doesn't ask for it, but in general, you would set the this dot x. And that could also allow you to use this constructor here. You could do a set x, okay, and then implement the set x down here. And then two string, you just need to put that string together, just like I showed you in 814. All right, if you found this problem useful, please like and subscribe. That helps other students find these, this channel and these problems. Thank you very much.